So here we go once again, folks. Uh, you know, you got Target and Walmart uh, duking it out, you know, the two biggest retailers and everything else. And they're still having to close stores. Walmart just announced they're closing some, some more stores that I'll announce here in just a minute. They're also, we all know they've been closing stores all across the country. And Target has been doing the same thing. Everybody is downsizing right now because of the economy, high interest rates, and theft. So, you know, I mean, it, it's all boiling down to where you live depends on if you're going to be keeping your store and if your store is profitable in their eyes. So, you know, you may see the store always busy and everything else, but if it is not turning a profit on paper, then guess what? These stores are going to be on the chopping block coming soon, maybe to a neighborhood near you because Walmart started... What, a few months ago, they announced they were closing a bunch of stores, and they've been adding to that every single month since then. Where does the madness stop, right? I don't think we're really going to see any type of relief or anything until we can get the economy under control because everybody is trying to make sure that the shareholders are happy. And they're not going to be happy unless they are turning profits. So they're going to do whatever they have to do. They don't care about anything else. It's all about profit. So if the stores have high theft problems, if they're not meeting their quotas, if they're not on target to meet their base profit that they were probably assigned, they're probably going to end up closing those stores. And for a lot of communities, it may be a huge hit to the American people throughout this country because, you know, there may not be another store close by. And let's just say if maybe you walk, maybe you ride a bicycle, maybe you don't have a vehicle, and these stores are very convenient for you just to walk to and get your groceries and walk home, those times could be numbered. So let's dive into some of this stuff and see what's really going on here, folks. I mean, Walmart is the nation's most successful retail chain. Let's just face it, on paper, I know there's a lot of people that don't like going to Walmart, that doesn't support Walmart and anything else, but the fact of the matter is they're the most successful retail chain, period. They announced earlier this week, they'd be closing down 10 stores around the country. This is the one where they, they've announced the first round a few months ago. All right. And those lo locations were what? Washington, D.C., uh, Illinois, New York, uh, New Mexico, Florida, Oregon, and Washington. Um, and they were closing those due to poor sales performance. And in, they couldn't meet their company sales goals and expectations. So they started shutting these bad boys down. Then they turned around, and as we know, they all started closing the stores in Portland, Oregon. They closed all the stores and stuff there. Now they just announced that by April 21st of this year, all right, they're going to be closing more stores. And those stores are going to be one store in Honolulu, Hawaii, and two more stores in Minnesota will both permanently close their stores by the 21st of April. Now, they keep saying that there are several different factors that feed into this whole scenario of them closing these stores. And it basically boils down to, they can list all these different things off and everything else. It comes down to profit. So if your store is not doing well, these several different factors that they keep throwing into this is all going to go into your store being closed. And they are going to be announcing more stores in the near future because as the year goes on and they start to see that the theft is up, they start to see that, you know what, um, this store isn't going to hit its margin of profit 
by the end of the fiscal year, we're going to cut it. They're only going to keep the stores that are turning profit. This way here, they knew nothing but show more profit. Now, a lot of these pharmacists and stuff that are in these stores are going to be transferring to other stores. Now, they say that um, employees will be eligible if they desire to go to a closest store near them to retain their employment. Now, that may not be feasible for some people. So we'll have to wait and see how this plays out and how maybe this will be affecting a lot of the different aspects of what is going on. You know, we already have high inflation. The uh, unemployment rate is still very low, but you have a lot of these huge retailers that are starting to cut jobs and that are forecasting by the end of this year to be cutting 12 thousand jobs per company going right down through all your big retailers amazon is number one they're cutting like crazy walmart is cutting jobs target's cutting jobs sam's is cutting jobs all these huge retailers are cutting jobs the tech industry is really taking a huge hit at this point in time and they're cutting the most jobs you know, all your people like Google, Facebook, all these types of people, Twitter, everybody, all the big social media giants are all taking and they're cutting jobs left and right, trying to make sure that they show that profit so they can keep that good standing in the stock market and keep all those stockholders very happy and fill in their pockets with cash. Meanwhile, they want to start charging us for anything and everything and all the prices that are out there from your food to your entertainment to your living uh, to your home and the whole nine yards are all skyrocketing and going through the roof. Your credit card payments are getting a lot higher because the interest rates just keep going up. The best thing you can do is try to get rid of those things as soon as possible. But the fact still stands all these store closings and everything and trying to put it off as quote, you know, recalibrating the system and turn it into a profit margin type deal is only affecting a lot of different people throughout the country. And it may be affecting you in your own town. Now, the one thing that Target and Walmart are doing, they have, they're the two largest retailers with store footage, Amazon doesn't go into this category. They have a store you can walk into and buy. All right. They're both the two largest competitors. All right. You have Walmart that has, you know, a market cap of about $372 billion and Target has uh, about $73 billion and they have the biggest purchasing power out of anybody in the retail industry and they're having a huge war right now with Easter coming. Now target is doing this where you can buy like the Easter basket and then all the cool stuff you want to put into it is all $5 or less. You kind of build your own. Now Walmart went one step further. All right. They're going to be offering bundled Easter baskets and bundled Easter dinners at last year's prices. Now, that could be huge for a lot of people that are on tight budgets that don't have a lot of money or anything else. So we're going to have to see who comes out and wins on this one. My money would be on Walmart because they're going to be selling everything at last year's prices for Easter. They're going to be doing a bundled dinner package uh, right down from like your hams, uh, potatoes. I mean, the whole thing that you have for Easter. And then the Easter baskets are going to be all at last year's prices. So they're eating the cost of the inflation on this. But what they're gambling is, I can already tell you, even though they didn't say this in any articles that I could find. 
The trick is to get you into the store. The trick is to see get you in there and you're going to see, all right, these, these are really cool Easter baskets or, hey, I like that Easter dinner, but I like this too. So the more you buy outside of what they are doing, the more money they're going to be pocketing. And Lord only knows they when they have you in the store, chances are you're going to be buying other things in there that maybe you probably don't need, but they'll be running them on quote a sale to make it look really good so you really have to pay attention to what's going on folks these companies are all playing these games and it affects you and me one way or the other and we have to make sure that we are doing our part to be prepared for what is coming because it's only a matter of time before maybe another store around you starts to close because all these smaller retailers can't compete with Target and Walmart. It just doesn't happen. They don't have the buying power. Just saying. This is what it's come down to. And if things don't turn out and start to change soon within our financial system, we may be only left with Walmart and Target. Something to think about. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. You all stay safe. You keep prepping and make sure, pay attention when you go in these stores. They're all trying to get your sales, but they also want you to do a lot more. Have a plan when you walk in there. Stick to the list. Walk out. Save yourself some money. Till next time. I'm out.